Welcome everybody! Be sure to watch the whole video as I'll be revealing some exciting news! Good morning everybody! I am just about to head out on a very exciting excursion because today is the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo and we're headed to Mississauga, Ontario to the International Centre to take part in this exciting event. Hey everybody, we've officially arrived at the expo venue. Just gearing up and getting ready to go inside. This is gonna be such an awesome day. All right guys, we're here at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. It's so good to be back. I haven't been to an expo in quite a few months. The last one was like last April or something. I had a really great time over at Exoterra's booth, hanging out with all my good friends there. Thank you Exoterra for having me. The meet and greet went really well. But let's go ahead now and take a look at all the incredible vendors, these amazing breeders, and see what animals are available. And don't worry, I brought like a hundred bucks in my wallet, so no temptation will occur at this expo. Except for one thing, and Fadi is gonna show you. We'll, we'll take a look at that later, so let's go. are looking for Arcadia products, check out reptilesrus.ca. They're the official distributor of Arcadia in Canada. Really good UVB, really good deep lights, awesome supplement products. So yeah, you can check them out, order your products online, get them to your door. Awesome. Hi there, I'm Jordan and I just picked up a baby green tree monitor from Brandon at Canadian Cold Bloods. And, Amazing, uh, man. Yeah, it's a male. I'm really excited to start working with him. Yeah, and uh, best. Yeah, yeah, I, I got them mainly because of uh, your videos and seeing you work with your pair. So I'm really excited and looking forward to it. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank You're going to love this animal. Thank you so much. So this is Oglavy. He's my four-year-old bearded dragon. He is the sweetest little thing. And uh, yeah, he's a fashionista. He has all the outfits, probably more than me now, and got a little crooked tail, but He's perfect in my eyes, so. Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm here with my little leopard gecko. Ooh, very nice, buddy. Beautiful. Do you have an idea for a name yet, or not yet? Not really. Yeah, you got time. Not yet. You got time to decide. Thank you for showing me. That is a very beautiful gecko. Yeah. Awesome, buddy. Well, enjoy. Well, Friends, check out this snake. This is without a doubt the most beautiful animal I saw at the Weekend Expo. Thank you to my good friend Ashley of Northern Lights Reptile Imports for introducing me to her male rhinoceros rat snake. Now, this is the blue phase and it is believed to be an exanthic recessive trait. There is no color editing over this footage whatsoever. What you see is what you get. Stunning animal. Guys, 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 what's up, what's there's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, Oh my Where god, there's YouTubers what everywhere. Up? What's going on here? Okay. There's YouTubers everywhere. Oh. What's up guys, we're at the CRB. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't had a chance to check out one of the reptile expos, come out to the next one. Yeah, Fadi, Daffy's Reptiles, check me out. Check him out guys, Woo. awesome content. And look who we have here. I'm here, I'm Emma. here, I'm alive, I exist. So I'm here at the CRBE with um, a bunch of other people. As you can tell, I've been having an awesome time. First expo I've been to in like a year, so I'm really excited to be here. There's so much stuff, I'm like absolutely blown away. It's crazy. Emma I will is be back. posting more content, I promise. I'm filming here today. Hi, my name's Natasha, also known as Red from Red's Fauniverse. I'm trying to save my money and trying to be well behaved. Uh, today I actually just bought some plants. Okay, nice. That's for, what I'm planning on trying to stick with. Yeah, just for some uh, setups that I'm working yeah. on and a fruit fly culture from Mike, so not too very, exciting. Very tame, very tame. Very good. tame today. So. Awesome. Hey guys, my name is Dylan Perrin. If you don't know, I am the host of the Animals at Home podcast. There is an episode with Diane, so definitely go check that out. My first time here at the Canadian uh, Reptile Expo, so it's awesome. If you haven't been, you gotta come. It's super exciting, having a blast. Trying not to buy anything, but uh, having fun. Yeah, guys, Dylan's podcast is fantastic. It was an honor to be on. You've got to check it out. We'll have a link up above to one of the videos there. I'll be grateful if you listen. Adam. Sup? Nice bearded dragon. Thank you. So bearded dragons are often not this blue, but 
It's a special locality of Bearded Dragon. They're from the Isle of uh, Fiji. Well, it's Tonga, actually, or Taponga if you're Dave or whatever he called it. Um, and so it's kind of an interesting bearded dragon. They like it a little bit more humid. They have a little bit of a different diet. They're a little bit more arboreal, but it is a bearded dragon nonetheless. Some people call them Fiji banded iguanas, but Dion can never be wrong. Therefore, bearded dragon. Yeah, you know me. I'm an arrogant son of a gun. Obviously. Taronga. Taronga. <laughs> not Taronga. This is a uh, not Taronga bearded dragon. I wish you'd get things that are a little less common, but it is really cool that you got this bearded dragon. I feel like everybody has one, so it's not as interesting, you know, but I just thank you so much for letting me be part of your video, even though it's kind of a more boring species. All right, guys, we're here with my friend Dave Kaufman. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Canada, good sir. Thank you, love oh, yeah. Canada. Yeah, oh, yeah it's a good buddy. place, sorry. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, eh? I didn't mean to interrupt you, eh? I need to ask you, what yes. are some of the key differences you found between this Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo and a lot of the expos you attend in the United States. It is the turtles and tortoises. Yeah. For sure. So I understand that no turtles and tortoises have been allowed to be imported into Canada in the last years. And therefore, Herman's tortoises are like $650 here. Yep. In the States, they're maybe 50 bucks. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But other than that, you know, there are so many similarities between this expo okay. and an American expo. Yeah. But it's those little subtle differences that make it worthwhile being here to check it out. The throat is parched, as the British would say. Everybody, we are here with Petit Mikey, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, that's my wine. Okay guys, <laughs> you may recognize this, this fine friends. I will let this wonderful gentleman introduce himself. Hello, I'm Mike Titula from the Jungle Vault or YouTube channel is Mike Titula. You know, I took too long to get to his table. He's happy about it, I'm not. <laughs> A lot of stuff is gone. Happy for you buddy, Thank but you. unhappy for my video. Yeah. I was excited to show off everything he has, but to give be us fair, an idea. we do have like the coolest animals. The Still, yeah. Tachydromus here. Of course, every time. One of my her. favorites. You have this very strange female very hog nose. Cool hog nose. Yeah. Azurius, some Felsuma clemeri. And then we also have various different hog noses. This is the male up here. Produce pretty much all of them. Very cool. And finally, we have the very underrated chameleon geckos. Very easy first pet, easy to handle, easy to care for. All right, buddy, thanks so much. No problem. Wait, 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 wait. I have a little gift for you. Oh my. Yo! Wow! Bro, thank you so much, man. You're the man. <laughs> thanks, dude. A shitty source label, my first label. What have you done? Now I need yeah, all now you need, yeah. Now I need more labels. <laughs> awesome, we're gonna put this on a shinny source paludarium. Thanks so much, buddy. No really appreciate yeah. it. No hey, how's it going? Oh, well, not too bad. I, I'm Kieran. I just picked up a couple of Versicolor slings. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, awesome. I, I got two. I got one for me. Carabina Versicolor. What a beautiful spider. I got one for my prop. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. For today's question of the day. Who is your favorite YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see how many times my name pops up. <laughs> I can't wait to see how many times mine doesn't. Oh, it will. All right, guys. We're here with Kayla Roach. How's it going? going very well how are you good I'm excited to see what you picked up because you told me and uh, it's pretty awesome it's I haven't seen awesome. them yet let's so, see let's see let's see so first I have this little snow garter snake oh, okay. it has a little kink in its back yeah. but I will take great care of it and okay. maybe I'll give him a name that suits that little yeah. deformity of his and I got a trio oh of emerald goodness. tree skinks that this is one's awesome. Really Everybody showing wants up. these now. They yep. are so cool, so personable, amazing. Any uh, other plans to pick something else up? Um, the only other animals I should be buying while I'm here are crickets. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here with my friend Brandon from Canadian Cold Blood. Brandon, 
How's the show going? Uh, it's, it's all right, buddy. Not too bad. Awesome. Having a good time. Yeah. Lots of uh, familiar faces and some new ones. For those of you who don't know, Brandon, what do you guys specialize in over here? Well, uh, I'm known for breeding monitor lizards. This is true. And, yeah, and Sabzi and Basil. <laughs> Sabzi, came my from Brandon. <laughs> My babies now yeah. they're in a great home. Thank you, thank uh, yeah. you. So, thank you. But yeah, so that's what I that's what I specialize in. Have a few rare geckos too, and yeah, and uh, a bit of everything cool, really. Uh -huh. yeah. It's perspective, but yeah. I think so. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the tour yet, it was an awesome time. Thank you again. You can check it out up above if you've missed it. It's a really cool tour for seeing a Canadian breeder's facility or home and what they've been able to bring to life with their passion and hobby. So thank you, Brandon. No problem. Yeah. I'll have to do it again. Welcome to the show, yeah. All right, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, guys. We're here with Maya. Hello. And she drew me some art from animals. Thank you so much. No problem. That's so awesome. Thank you. How are you enjoying the show? It is awesome. I, I've never seen this many reptiles. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah. awesome. Do you guys have pets at home? I have some isopods, but that's nice, all I have. Nice, nice. Hey, I like isopods. Yeah. They're pretty cool. What kind of isopods uh, do you have? Like? Uh, Nice. Those are the zebras, right? Yes. Yeah. They're pretty cool. It was nice to meet you. Very nice Thank to you meet so you. much for the no art. Problem. Thanks for the awesome content. Uh, all right, guys. I'm here with my bro, Fadi. I told you guys I'm only coming home with one species of animal. I'm not going to show them. And it's coming from this kind gentleman. Take a look and see what we got here, Fadi. Thanks so much, bro. No I'm so excited I'm, to have more of these. I'm super happy for you to be able to have oh, them. So pumped. Uh, like I said before, they're an uh, awesome species that we need more of in the hobby. Yeah, Stenodactylus, Stenodactylus. They're still commonly being imported from the wild, so we need as many yeah, people breeding them as possible. I actually saw someone is maybe bringing Bring more in, I was gonna tell Let you. Let me know, I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah. for some more. Oh, yes. We got more, finally. More so Stenodactylus. It's exciting. They're unsexed, but I told Fadi I think I know, but I'm probably wrong. We'll see so, in a month. If they're actually at 1.1, I'm going to be very impressed. <laughs> no, we'll see. We'll see. But thanks yes, so much. No, bro. no problem and, at all. And yeah, yeah, if I'm able to breed mine, I'm going to give him some too. But thanks so much. No, really no problem at all. I'm, I'm happy you can yeah, come. Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. Woo! I am Jesse, and this is... Audrey from Exoterra. So we're here at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo, which is part of the larger Canadian Pet Expo at the Exoterra booth. We have all of our latest products here on display and some beautiful terrarium setups and lots of free giveaways and a cool uh, kids table, a kids dino dig for them to dig up some plastic uh, lizards and stuff like that for them to take home. Wonderful. Morning everybody. Today is day two of the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo and uh, your boy here is probably going to be heading back because I did not get as much filming done and I should have known that that was going to happen. It's very hard to go through these shows and film everything. You're constantly meeting people, friends that you haven't caught up with in a long time, whether they're vendors, fellow creators, just fellow hobbyists, right? We're going back this morning and hoping to tackle a lot more of the booths so that I have the opportunity to show you a lot more of the incredible animals that are going to be there. This is what Reptiliatus looks like when he wakes up. I am very tired, but it's going to be so awesome, so we can't miss up on that. Let's go! Welcome to day two of the Reptile Expo! Woohoo! Hi, so I'm Mary from Exotic Attic and Pena Reptile. I just bought that beautiful animal for a client of mine. It's an Umbronia, it's really rare in Canada. It's almost impossible to find. So we were very happy to have finer for our clients. I'm not sure I'm gonna see another animal like that in my lifetime. I mean, they are so rare and practically impossible to import in Canada now. Incredible, thanks for sharing. Hey buddy, how's it going? Good. 
I got a super arctic albino hog nose snake oh. and this is my first snake. That's exciting. I have a crested gecko and a leopard gecko and an oak toad. Very nice, very nice. Are you planning on getting anything else for the... Uh, Maybe two morning geckos. <laughs> That'll be cool. I don't know. Well, congratulations on your new snake. Your Guys, we're here with my friend Chris. Are you, what are we doing here, man? Are we checking out the beauties? We might take one home, oh. I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's massive. He's huge, that one, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi, Is he a giant? Hi, That's a male, yep. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think of this guy? He's good. 100%. Yeah? I want, I I want another one. I want another one. You have one already? Yep. I What's want his another. name? It's a sheep. It's a oh, sorry, Joka. what's her name? Joka. Joka? That's a cool name. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this is how it starts. This is how it starts. This is how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Khaleesi. <laughs> so I'm Jonathan, I'm with the Pet Paradise booth here. Uh, showing off this Tonga banded iguana, or the Fiji banded iguana. Super cool species. Luckily we're able to have these here in Canada, unlike the United States, they are banned there unfortunately. So, might be a little jealous of this guy. Look who it is, it's Dr. Alec Brown. Hey. How's it going my friend? Pretty well, very busy day. I think busier than yesterday, perhaps Wonderful. right now. So I'm just here checking out all the animals, making sure everybody's happy and healthy, as much as we can tell for an animal. So really we're looking for obvious signs of illness, discharge from the eyes or the nose or the mouth or anything like that, any closed eyes, weird things like that, and then any strange colors, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then with respect to how happy they are, we want to make sure that there's a big enough enclosure, we don't want anybody crammed in anything tiny, and then ideally there'd be somewhere for them to hide as well, like within substrate if they're a burrowing animal, or underneath something, or on top of a stick. They're more of an arboreal animal. It's been pretty good so far. A couple minor issues, but we corrected them pretty quickly. And everybody's been very amenable to it. It's, it's fantastic to see that sort of standard being enforced at the show yeah. as well. It's definitely great to see. It's a lot I of growth. Well, an important thing to get a standardized. Yeah, really great. Thanks. Yeah. Go hey ahead. guys, welcome to Southwest Pet. It's my awesome. first one. Congratulations. So, yeah. Very exciting. I saw very him. Cool. He would not stop moving, so I was like so drawn to him. <laughs> I came in for a Pac Man or a Pixie Frog, or and I didn't get either. I got a, Can I see a Colorado, Colorado oh, River Toad. Oh my goodness. Yep. And then I have a little. This one won't jump aside, but a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like a, a red crab, apple but, yeah. crab. Any yeah. uh, other plans to pick anything else up? It's tough. I still have two empty enclosures, so I could still. Oh, empty tank syndrome, guys. Yes. Watch out it's, for that. It's lethal, lethal, lethal. Hey guys, it's my friend Ariel. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good, good. How are you liking the show? It's amazing. Yeah. So much to well, see here. Lots to see. Yeah, yeah. So cool. I'm trying not to spend all my money. That's fair. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we all. Yeah. I got so. these for you. Wait, what? What? Oh I got some little stickers gosh. for you. And this is your work, right? Yes. This is a, these are all my little designs. Thank you so much. There you go. That's awesome. Add to your collection. Thank you. I'm collecting so many stickers today. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a lot of people giving stickers. Yeah, yeah. Carly here. How's it going? That's good. How are you? Good, good. What are you uh, after at the expo today? I don't know. There's a lot of temptations. I'm trying to not, of course, take everything, but yeah, I'm looking yeah. for some William's eyes. Um, oh, yes. But I've heard that they might be gone already. Which is okay. Did he's saving my money, but I'm gonna look for some stuff for my tanks. Fix yep. up my tanks. Nice. Saying hi to everybody. There's a lot. Everyone's here. I know. It's a really nice social event for everyone. So it it's is. also nice to see you. Oh, likewise. It's been a while. Yeah, for it sure. Been Everyone's while. been out on a lots of adventures. You've been. Guess what? I also saw shark snorkeling. You did. Yeah, it was a Caribbean reef shark, five feet. That's it was, so awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, we have someone else here who wants to. <laughs> Lindsay. I got corn. <laughs>
guys. You know me from uh, the Florida videos on Dion's channel. My name's Nick, and today we picked up, you can't really see it very well, but that is a male emperor scorpion that's captive bred. Yep, and then I picked up this future animal ambassador for Expedition Wildside, which is just a plain Jane crested gecko, but he's uh, he's gonna be educating a bunch of kiddos in the shows that we do. Very cool, very cool, guys. Guys, we have another American friend here. It's Steve, I'm the back. main man. How's it going, brother? Going good. Yeah. Happy to be here. Happy yeah. to see you again. Happy to see you too, my man. What are you? Uh, you bringing anything home besides a hug from me? <laughs> I wish. Yeah. But unfortunately, not. Was that not good enough? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you're I, okay. Officer Brown, what did he do? I think he's right. I think I missed. Did he misspell it. something? No, I didn't. It's right. Are you sure? Yes, it is. I'm looking for a bead of sweat. Nothing. Oh, okay. No, we're good. <laughs> Steve, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> I think it might you be think good. he misspelled the label? I could never see Mike that. doing that. That's impossible. Pity Mikey does not screw up signs ever. Yeah. I don't know, Alec. I like all no, I thought he was missing an E, but they're all there. All right, we're good. <laughs> all the E's We're are good, there. guys. We're good. All the E's are our okay. Guys, I'm here with my good friend Annalise, Hi. all Canadian reptile girl. How are you liking the show? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, day two? Yeah, day Don't. two. It's been a long couple of days, but it's really worth it because yep. it's just been an amazing show. I honestly think that this is the most fun I've had in an expo, and that's saying something because every expo is always super fun. Out of all the animals you've seen today, maybe even yesterday, is there one in particular we gotta go check out that just really caught your eye you wanna show the viewers today? I think going on an so. adventure. Let's go. Let's go see that table. Let's All go see right. that animal. We have to go to Pet Paradise, which Pet I Paradise. Believe... They're they're that yeah. way. Okay, let's go. I'm following right. you. I'm following okay. you. We have found the beautiful snake that I love. Oh! I didn't even know it was a thing until today. Very cool, peppermint corn snake. Oh! You can take it, Anna. Lisa. Thank you. Hi, cutie. Thank you, guys. Thanks, no Nick. Thank you. Well, my friend, thanks so much for showing me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. So, yeah, thanks, you too. Yeah. Hello, I'm Amanda from Tarantula Canada, and we specialize in the breeding and import of captive bred tarantulas. We have all species from all over the world, and we're very happy to say that we are getting tarantulas from the breeding programs in Mexico. Uh, they have a very great program for helping to combat poaching in their country. They have set up breeding programs where they give permission to breeders to breed and export for the hobby so that the wild populations can stay safe. Wonderful. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's going really good. This has been one of the most fun weekends I've had in a long time. Oh, so, what do we got going on here? VivTech. It's yeah. Very exciting it's new. stuff. So last time you saw me, I was with Zilla. Yeah. And yeah. I left and uh, saw an opening to really bring the hobby up and do some cooler stuff. Yeah. Uh, and nobody was doing it, so I started VivTech to kind of open up into that space and bring next level innovation and technology to keepers. So exciting, man. It's wonderful. And the first thing I did was redo UV lighting. Focusing that was that was our big first launch, yeah. and then we did this and that is our our smart monitor system which is all app controlled Wi-Fi and, and controllability uh, cameras for watching your animals so you can watch any uh, temperatures for your eggs I actually have the, mo the monitors in my incubator in the egg container with the egg well thank you so much I'm so excited for what you're doing and I really appreciate you taking the time to share absolutely thank you awesome. man. my name's Dash and I'm thinking of getting a zillion rainbow boa today very cool very cool yeah. I hope you find what you're looking for it's nice to see you take care all right guys, you may not have heard it here first because everyone else is making an expo video, but I want to announce it on my channel that we, these gentlemen and I, and two other people, Bill Strand and Nadine, also known as Freddie Mercury, are going <laughs> to Madagascar in January 2023. It's coming up fast, it's gonna be amazing. It's like the full circle experience for me, keeping your platus. I love those geckos, and it's a dream to see them in the wild. Two weeks, the ultimate expedition from the east to the south. <laughs> it's gonna be insanely cool. Parsons chameleons. Intrigue. It's just gonna be insane. I'm so excited for this trip and it's an honor that we're gonna be traveling together. Be ready. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> 
All right, guys, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this expo video. Man, what a show. It's been such a wild weekend. So many incredible animals to see. So many dedicated, passionate breeders showing off their animals. I don't even know where to start. Like seeing all the friends, uh, fellow creators. It's been amazing. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to answer Dave's question of the day. And let me know something in the comment section down below that you liked in the video. Whether it's an animal, whether it's something funny that happened. There's a bit of everything, so I'll leave it at that. If you guys want to see more Reptile Expo videos, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have an awesome week. Bye.